Peggy 18. The thing about Kratos is that a character that enables you to just feel like a, this ultimate empowered warrior that just gives you this unique experience that maybe perhaps other characters in other games may not give you. Everybody knows he's a kind of a mean guy, so that's, that's one thing that's unique about him. You're playing a bad guy, and I think that's the moment that that character clicked for me. It's like, I'm playing a bad person. Everyone knows who you are. The ghost of Sparta. The God of War. God War III, um, the opening is amazing. The scale of things, you know, when the camera pulls out, it's a huge titan. Um, but you are like uh, this tiny thing and the steel game is going on. The battle with Kronos is one of those moments in God of War where you really feel like this is something that is much, much larger than life. I always like the Hermes run, uh, probably the most, just because you really get a sense, because of how the, the length that it goes, you get a sense of his character, of Hermes, and just what a royal pain in the ass he is, and how much you just want to lay hands on him. I would say that the Hades boss fight, I think, was a was a cool moment. Like Hades we had shown in God of War 2 for a bit. Fans of the game probably already knew what he looked like and what he was capable of, so being able to execute that and take us blades and actually use them against him during the fight. Like I think that was just a really cool moment. Specifically for me, I have to say Hephaestus, uh, which is not you know, regarded as one of the crazy epic moments, but the fact that we got this, this character um, interacting with Kratos that you know, showed a bit of humanity. It was a nice contrast to Kratos. You were once a father too. This you know, kind of sad character that uh, interacts with Kratos throughout the game. I've seen a couple of those scenes now with the remastered version and they look really, really nice. This is for the players.